In today's episode, we're going to be looking at Steve's Carts and specifically a Steve's Carts tree farm. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and cleared an area over here, which is just across the bridge from our smeltery and basically like our whole base right now, right? Uh, the kitchen from last episode, for example, is just there. So the idea is that we're going to have a Steve's Carts tree farm, which is going to get us an unlimited amount of logs, but also we're then going to use those logs later on for power uh, by turning them into charcoal. So that's going to be the whole sort of idea of the episode. Uh, now, if I slash home real quick one thing you'll notice this is something i recommend you guys think about doing in your worlds if you are playing along uh is get one of these things a liquid xp tank so i can right click this to get levels i'm gonna have levels on me all i have to do is stand here and it will take them off me and store them in here so this is a pretty cool thing to have i highly recommend that you get one uh, if you haven't already just wanted to mention that because it's something i've done in between episodes one of a few things that i've been uh, getting on with uh, so what i'm going to do is go ahead and look at the steve's carts uh in the uh jr here and it's actually uh like the mod itself is only one page there's not like tons and tons of stuff that uh, is required uh, to do for it but that being said it is uh, reasonably complex the things you can do you can also make mining you can also make obviously the tree farm like we're doing today uh, and a few other things so the first thing that we need to do is we're going to look at a cart assembler so that's basically how we're going to make our steve's carts in the first place and this is the stuff that it requires so we're going to need some stone some iron and uh, some redstone and gold as well so I'm just going to go ahead, I, I did a bit of preparation for this episode, uh, which I know is a little bit weird for me guys, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I thought I would. And uh, so we're, we actually have a few things already, so we just need to make up a couple of these. So two of you, and our cart assembler is ready to go. Very good. Okay, so now um, that's how we're going to make our cart, but what we need to think about is what we want our cart to be made out of. Uh, so one thing I know we definitely are going to need is some side chests, and this is going to be the storage for the cart, where it can store the fuel to power it, and it can also store the goods that it mines. So in this case, obviously, that'll be wood. Uh, now, I wonder if we can use dark oak for this, because we do have a lot of it. I'll take some of this out as well. But basically, for the side chest, I know we need a lot of wood. Uh, so we're going to need a lot of these things, um, which is, let's see... Okay, let's look at me planks and wood of any type. Do I have any planks already made? I guess not. Okay, so we'll make up. Let's just grab out like another one of these because we're going to need a ton of these things. So why not make up a few, right? Uh, so to make this, we're going to need, let's see, two of you. Um, so we get 32 there just from one, interestingly enough. Uh, we're going to need a load of you guys as well. So we, we think, uh, oh, okay. So let's actually make up like maybe like a few more of you. And uh, I need one more of these, I think. That's the four of those. What are we missing now? Okay, just these three things. So the lock is easy. We get eight of those, actually. That's quite a lot. And uh, actually, we need uh, we need two of these, right? So um, one, two. Okay, so now we can make up our side chest. Very good. So let's get this in some sort of order here. Let me um, get this stuff out here. Oh, wait, not up there. Just out of this hot bar. So we get in a bit of order. We're going to place this. We need the cart assembler. We're going to need the side chest. The next thing we're going to need is an engine. Obviously, the engine is going to power our chest. Uh, not our chest, our cart, I should say. <laughs> so that'll get it going around the rails and uh, power it for its movement and also the uh, mining or in this case, I guess, tree cutting. Now, in terms of the engines, a few different options. I want to just quickly look into the solar engine. So after recording this episode, I realized there was a bit of a flaw with the solar engine route that I went down. I thought that the solar power would be able to get through the trees as they are transparent blocks, but apparently not. Uh, so it was basically running out of power too often. And as such, we've had to make a new cart. You see here, I've got a coal engine in this cart. So bear that in mind if you are doing this at home. And uh, I'll just show you the recipe for a coal engine very quickly. Uh, there we go. Uh, there's a couple of pistons iron and a furnace it's not too difficult to make um, but i recommend that you look at going down this route instead uh, otherwise you might end up in the same situation that i ended up in well i died several times <laughs> um, i recommend you stay out of the nether guys it's not a good place this is why i have the xp tank because i can store all my xp in here i didn't lose any of that at least so that's one good thing about all this also you'll see i did get some glowstone when i got back only a little bit and then i came out because i was like i'm not staying in there for too long uh, but we got some now that means we can make solar powers uh excuse me solar powered engine is what i'm trying to say uh so that's pretty cool uh piston oh actually you know what i think i do need to make some of those up uh these are things i should probably have made like a lot up of already but i haven't uh we only need one though and then i think we're good to go for our basic solar engine there we go so try and get this in order again so we've got the the assembler the side chest uh then the basic solar engine okay very good uh we're also gonna need uh i think it's called a basic wood cutter wait wood is this 
Yeah, there we go. Basic wood cutter, but it's two separate words. Okay, so five of these things is five diamonds and ten iron, guys. That's a little bit expensive, sure. But I think it's worth it in the long run because, the, like, the what we're making here has a lot of uses. And, uh, yeah, I would say it's still worth it, right? Uh, let's see. What else do we need here? I don't... What is this thing? Okay, so we want of you. So we need... All right, two more of you. Okay, let's start with that. Uh, there's a little bit of a rabbit hole here. Then we need one of you, right? So we make up that. Then we need... Uh, Oh, just saplings. Okay, I wonder what they were, but it's because they were weird saplings that I wasn't uh, recognizing those. Uh, so now we can make up you, and we can make up you, and we have our basic wood cutter. Okay, so at the moment we're going to have a cart. Um, well, actually, if we if we make a mine cart, uh, so we're going to have a cart with side chests, um, a solar engine, a basic wood cutting unit. I yeah, that's it for now. That's all we're actually going to need. So let's um, let's go over to our Steve's cuts area. Um, that we've uh, made up over here and uh, oh Okay, is this a wandering trader? Interesting. This is the first wait. Is it one? No, it's not a wandering. <laughs> oh my goodness I did wonder where his llamas were. Okay. Let's see what this thing actually is. Let's take our good sword over here and See uh, what are you can we kill you? Oh for goodness sake <laughs> We hit him and he becomes four wait if I hit one of these does that this become four more? Like how do we kill these? Oh my goodness look at the way they move and stuff what do we do with these? Okay, they are going to kill me if I'm not careful. Uh, maybe I need a ranged weapon then. Is that what this is telling me? You guys suck. Okay, we're going to slash home. Uh, in that case, it might be time to make a ranged weapon, guys. I am going to have a little look at Tinkers, and we're going to make up the Tinker Shuriken. Uh, I know that's like a really good ranged weapon to have. In the meantime, though, let's have a look at this. The cart assembler, let's just place that down there, and let's go ahead and put in... What do I miss? Like, okay, so I think it maybe then I, I I did wonder when I grabbed the minecart actually. A Steve's cart cart um, is is different, so it requires this, and we can either make two of these, uh, or it's only like one iron difference. So we'll just we'll just do it that way. So a standard hull. Um, oh, we have to make these up anyway. Okay, let's see. So let's grab a load of you, and go to the standard hull. We'll make up two of you, and we can make a standard hull. Okay. Very good. Uh, okay, we have some quests being completed here as well. So now we can put in the standard hull. Uh, okay, now I've got to find my stuff again. So there's the side chests, the basic solar engine, and the basic wood cutter. And I think anything else we can add later, right? Now we're also going to need some coal to actually power this process to make the cart in the first place. So let's chuck some coal in there as well. Uh, and we're going to assemble. Now, I don't know how long this is going to take exactly. It will tell me somewhere... Wait, where did it go? Uh, okay, so it is using up fuel. Somewhere it should tell me how long it's going to take to actually make this thing. Uh, oh, here, here we go, okay. Uh, 10 minutes left, okay, no problem. So while it's doing that, I'm gonna research some uh, Tinker's uh, Shuriken stuff, and then we'll come back and make one of those and see if we can kill whatever the heck that was that was just attacking us. Okay, so for the Shuriken, I had a bit of a change of heart, and uh, we're gonna make it out of materials that we already have. Uh, it was just proving to be quite difficult getting all the stuff that I was originally gonna get together. So that's okay, we can do it this way. Uh, what we do wanna do then is we're gonna need to make up, I think it's knife blades, right? I think it's four of those. Um, so we'll double check this. Let's just grab some of this stuff out of the way here. Uh, so if we go in here, if we wanted to make a shuriken, yeah, you can see this the knife blade pattern, right? So go ahead, put one of these in here, and we're gonna make sure that there's gold coming out. And yes, it is, okay, that's good. Uh, the reason being because uh, obviously we need four of these just for the shuriken, so we're definitely gonna use this more than once. Okay, so what's that setting? Let's see, we definitely wanna use manual in as one of them. So we're gonna have enough for that, I think. Uh, so there we go, pour a manual in for the first one. And that's cooling down. Uh, what else can we use here? Let's see. Uh, we got bronze, tin, iron. We'll use iron. Um, copper would have been good for the extra. Uh, wait a second. Um, where are we at here? Iron. Thank you. Uh, because it gives you extra experience each time. But it's not like we're doing that badly for experience. So this is going to be so far manual in and uh, iron. What else do we have in here? Um, maybe we could use cobalt as well. Just as something to use. Um, and then we could use... Potentially like obsidian if we wanted to, I suppose. Do I have obsidian in here? I do. I mean, it's probably not the best thing, but like, cause you can like add all the upgrades and stuff to it. 
we can just like make this you know keep improving over time and for now i just really want a ranged weapon and i'm not too worried like you know if it's the, the best weapon or not um i need to like learn a lot more about tinkers i i know this before like you guys tell me in the uh, in the comments <laughs> now pig iron let's just actually have a little look at that does that do anything good for us at all so we got a tool materials here we got to find pig iron now where are you so this will be obviously like a pinky one right uh pig iron there we go uh so tasty it smells so good you uh would wait what you'd rather eat your tool than starve okay uh <laughs> so that's interesting um yeah it doesn't look like it does anything too amazing i think cobalt will probably still be better uh so maybe we'll just wait for the cobalt to smell and make it out of that okay the cobalt is ready to go so this is gonna be the last one and then we shall make our shuriken up and we'll see how good it is or isn't and i'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments uh how good or bad it is come on now uh yep okay there we go uh and uh and yeah we'll see how we get from there so here we go put the four of these in now i think you can put these anywhere like if you want the colors in different arrangements and things you can do that i actually kind of like that arrangement i think that's kind of cool um so attack is 4.46 that doesn't sound very high to me but we'll see about it it has a lot of traits here though um so let's go ahead and grab this thing uh and let's fly back over to our steve's carts area where we had a random dude waiting for us before wait is he gone now <laughs> we didn't even need this um okay it looks like he is actually gone now well i'm glad that he is gone uh because those things were weird and you know i wanted a shuriken for like just in general so it's not the end of the world that we've made this let's test it out at least though we'll test it out on these squid here and see how it goes okay did that one hit kill you no okay two it's a two hit kill for a squid that isn't exactly good oh wait what what happened there i got some random weird effect blindness why did i get that okay was that the squid that gave that to me like hmm all right that was that was incredibly strange uh what else could we test this on let's go just find some things to test this out on and see if i don't think it was anything to do with actually throwing the shuriken right it was just like you know a random thing that happened from the squid or something yeah okay so this needs to be a lot sharper so one thing we can do i think is add a diamond to it as like a modifier so let's try that a second and see if this helps in terms of like increasing the sharpness actually does an emerald do anything as well i think it might we, we found a few of those when we we're exploring so i don't mind spending a little bit of resources on trying to improve this because this is going to be our ranged weapon throughout the game and really probably our main weapon for quite a long time in the pack so it is worth trying to get it right um so let's see if we put this here if we add you it does get sharper and it adds like double the ammo to it as well um okay so yes let's do that um and what if we add you okay that adds way more ammo doesn't increase the sharpness though uh so what i'll do is let's grab you back out let's grab you a second and let's slash home so we can sleep and then i'll have a look in the tinker's book see what it says in terms of sharpness if there's things we can add there um do you find these manuals incredibly useful? I like it when the mod packs include a manual book in there, you know, as part of their pack. Because they don't all do it, but uh, yeah, they're really good when they do. Uh, okay, so Tinker's here, this modifiers, sharpness right here. Um, okay, what is that? Lapis? Oh, no, I was going to say, uh, quartz. Aha, that's it, quartz. Okay, so we do have some of you uh, in here, I believe. So let's go and try and add you and see what that does um it'd be good to have a sharpness modifier so obviously we can like one hit kill things or at least you know kill them in less than than a couple of goes so all right so let's put you in here with you Wait, what it went from 5.16 to 5.19 okay i will still add it and then is it a case of like it doesn't have the sharpness trait, right oh it does oh but we need 72 okay let's go home again uh we need 72 total so let's see do we ha even have that um no we've got a little bit of quartz but not enough for that and i'm going to save what quartz we do have that'll pick up as as we use it uh so there we go we have a shuriken basically it's not the best in the world but we have one <laughs> let's get on with some steve cart stuff so our beautiful cart is now ready to go here it is the modular cart and it tells you underneath all the things we put on so you can see there uh, obviously all the things i added earlier in the episode now we're going to pick you up and take you over to like a steve's cart area uh, the one that i showed you before uh, but that is now done which is very good and the next thing that we're going to need to do here is uh, we're going to need to make a cargo manager. We need to get some rails as well. Um, so we're going to get on with doing that stuff and then we can actually set up what we're doing. So the cargo manager, here we go. This is like the, the main mechanism used in the uh, Steve's Carts machine. Uh, so we need some iron, we need some more of those things. Let me see, I think I put them 
back up in here. There we go. Let's grab you out. Let's grab some iron here. Uh, we'll need some redstone in a bit as well. Okay, there we go. And let's see. So to make up you, we're going to need some of you guys, right? Let's just make up a load of you. Uh, let's make up a load of you. And what are we missing here? We need these guys, which needs these guys, which needs, okay, more of these guys. Oh boy. All right, so let's get some wood out. We've got a lot of wood, at least at the moment, and we're going to have a whole lot more. But of course, the main thing really is this is going to be a fuel source, as I, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, okay, so we need a load of you. So let's just make up a load of you. And we should now be okay. We've got enough iron on us, right? So make up a load of you guys. Oh, I didn't mean to use all my iron for that. That was dumb. Okay, let's make up a load of you. And what are we missing now? Just this central piece, which requires these. Okay, one, two, three, four of you. And then the central piece. And then this for the cargo manager. Haha, -ha, okay. <laughs> Told you it was a faff, but there we go. It's completed. Uh, this is all our modded stuff. So for now, all this stuff can go back in here. We've got the modular cart. We've got the cargo manager. We're pretty happy. Uh, and of course, our Steve's cart assembler as well. Okay, very good. Now, in terms of the rail that we're going to need, let's just grab like a load of you out for the sticks. Um, and we're going to need a couple of detector rails. So detector rail, let's see, we need a couple of stone pressure plates as well. Do I have any? I have one. Okay, let's grab, wait. Oh, my game just froze a little bit. Let's grab another two of you. I have two of you ready to go for our detector rail. And, oh, all the iron. Okay, so we might need to smell some more of this down in our Tinker Smeltery. So let me go get some iron. Once I've got that, we'll come back in and get the rail done and then set up our Steve's carts. We actually had a load of iron in the smeltery, so that was pretty good. We were able to get that out straight away. Uh, so detector rail, uh, let's see. We only need to make up two of you, so that six there will be plenty. The other thing we're gonna need is just some normal rail for the cart to travel along. So uh, let's make up, uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, probably all of that. That's like all of our iron gone now. Uh, so what I might do in the meantime is get some more iron smelting up. Uh, oh boy, if I can find you, there you are. And, uh, you know, it's not too bad that we're using all of our iron for this. Uh, obviously, early game, you do want iron. So getting rid of it isn't always ideal. But that being said, we are sort of building towards automated mining. And so then we'll get tons of iron once we do that. Okay, so we'll have all that smelting up in there. Let's go ahead and jump over. Oh. I didn't sling enough <laughs> and uh, get down to our little area here where we can do our Steve's carts. Okay, so what I'll do is the cart assembler. I don't know that we're ever going to use this again, but we just will have it here, uh, you know, for now. Um, but the cargo manager is the most important thing with the rails. Okay, so this is like the basic setup of where everything is going to go. So what we'll do is we'll have an area. Let's put it. Hmm. Let me think. I guess around about here, right? Kind of central to as soon as we come over, we can access it. That would make a lot of sense. And then we want a detector rail either side of this thing. Okay. And then this is where it's basically going to like come back, drop off all of its logs, pick up the fuel and saplings that it needs, and then go off and do its job. So that's basically how that works. Uh, and so we just need the normal rails for this because it has an engine. So uh, yeah, it'll be able to do that. Oh, solar engine as well. So actually it's not going to be picking up logs. It'll, uh, it'll do its own thing. So this is the track it's going to go round on. And uh, you know what might be cool actually? Let's see if we got enough rail, and I think we might. We could make a little bridge going over here, <laughs> just like this, right? Um, let's see. Maybe we even want to make it like back a little bit, and I'll go grab some resources from from home. Let's see if we go slash home a second, and uh, yeah, that could be kind of fun. So what I'll do is, I wonder if we might want stairs or some bricks or something like that, right? This could be good, and uh, just give it like a little bit of something a bit different rather than making it on a flat plane, right? Uh, so, oh, okay, that was the worst sling ever. <laughs> okay. Here we go. That's that's so much better. Uh, all right. So what we're gonna do is maybe put you. If I do that, can can stairs? Yeah, I figured. It okay. So uh, in that case, what we'll do is we'll make like you like this, and then we'll put you like there. Okay, very good. And I should have brought some wood with me. But what we'll do is slash home real quick. Make up some slabs. And make a nice little bridge, because why not? <laughs> it'll uh, it'll be worth it. All right, so put you there, put you there. That'll be good. So yeah, just to add a little bit of design to it, something a little bit different. And uh, also just be interested to see whether Steve's Cuts works with it. I assume it will. I don't see why it'd be a problem. But yeah, we can, we can check that in a second. Okay, so you are going to go across here like this. There we go, a little Steve's Cuts bridge. <laughs> and maybe we'll make this look a little bit nicer and stuff. For now, I just want to see if this is actually going to work or not. Um, and then it's going to come around like this. And you know, actually, let's just place it down here like this. And what we'll do is we'll get rid of you. And we'll put the detector rail there. That should work just fine. 
And yeah, that's it. This is going to be the loop. Okay, very good. Yeah, this will work, I think. <laughs> so uh, what I like to do now is uh, we can change the layout of this. I like to have the, the four boxes here so we can see what's going on. So this is the yellow. So this is where it's going to pick up anything that it needs. So basically this will go, let's see, yeah, to the storage. Um, currently goes to the cart, that's correct. So what we want to do now is go and grab some saplings. And we'll just do oak saplings, I think, because... Uh, this is, it's just going to be for fuel, but if we ever do need anything, then uh, it's better to have oak wood because it has, uh, it's quite a versatile wood, obviously. So we'll go ahead and put you in here. So then it should pick those up. And actually, it can pick you up from the green. I'm just thinking about this. Okay, so you right click to go back, left click to go forwards, if, if, if you're ever wondering. Uh, okay, so uh, to the cart, yep, yeah, there. So that there, um, let's see, let's get, I want to get rid of you entirely. How do I do that? Okay, there we go. All right, so um, currently goes to the cart, gives it the saplings there. In here, we want the chest selected again, but we want it to take from the cart, so it should pick up any wood that the cart has. So I think now, if I place you down, okay, high priority, it's getting its power from the so solar, that's good. Um, it's, it's gone on its way, but it's not going to have any saplings just yet, right? Okay, I think it got some power, so it went. It didn't pick up any saplings. Okay, well, it should. Let's see how it does around here. It's a little bit slow right now. I think that might be a lack of power. <laughs> it does go up the bridge. Okay, that's cool. I, I'm, glad it, I'm glad it goes up the bridge. That's kind of fun. Um, let's see this time when it goes round. It should still stop here. And hopefully... Oh. It didn't pick up anything. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Change side, green. Continue. Turn back after the transfer. No, continue along transfer. So you can get it to like stop and then go back. We don't want it to do that. Um, I don't know why this isn't working. I feel like it's done correctly. So, yeah, I'm a little bit concerned. Okay, priority of the solar engine. Hmm. Okay, let me try something else a second. Let me just give it like, say, four saplings. Okay, put those back in there. And we'll see when we give it these four, whether it is going to like plant them or not. If I were to give you them, would you, would you recognize to plant them? That is the question. Yes, it does. So it's working once it has the saplings. It's simply not picking them up, which is somewhat of a problem okay there it goes all right let me all, uh, play around with this and see why this is happening and if we can figure this out okay so what you see in front of me here now is a fully working steve's cart setup and there's some more automation that we could do in terms of the items being taken out for example at the moment i'm just manually storing them and turning them into charcoal and stuff like that uh, we are going to work on automating this but in terms of just simply getting a steve's carts tree farm which is all that we wanted to do today this is the final setup so first of all we can actually talk about the cart itself if i come out the way of this uh so you can see here it's got all the saplings it needs it's got the fuel we are of course using coal as the fuel uh, now, in terms of the cart, when you make it, of course, uh, you put all your things in here, you'll see that you can have multiple engines. So I talked at the beginning of the video about how I messed up by doing a solar engine. Well, it's not necessarily messing up. You could have a solar engine as well, but you definitely need the coal engine. So you could add the two. And if I had the two right now, instead of using coal, it'd be using solar because there's no trees and it's daytime, so it would be fine. So really for ultimate efficiency, go ahead and have a solar engine as well as the coal engine if you so wish. Um, in terms of internally in the cargo manager, this is the setup I have. So these here, you can change, uh, obviously, the part of the engine that it's using, all right, by left and right clicking. You can also change the color of it if you want. Um, sorry, so this is here, you can change the color of it. So we can keep that as blue for now, but you can change the color if you want what I've got here, where you've got two ways of taking uh, the cargo out, essentially, right? So it'll fill up this, and then it will fill up this, um, which is, you know, that could be useful. Now, obviously, there's not a lot of storage space here, uh, so you can double that. And basically, that's what it's doing. It's taking all of this stuff out of the cart, and uh, this here, it goes, uh, obviously, to the cart so this is where we put our fuel for the engine which we can use here as charcoal let's put that in here and hopefully it'll pick that up when it comes around next time i think it's still running off coal so i don't know if it'll pick up the charcoal 
uh, this time or not. Like if we open this up, you see there is coal there. Oh, it does. Okay, perfect. So it's going to work um, very happily there with the coal and the charcoal. It'll then drop off everything it's got into these chests, as I say. And this is the basic working setup here for Steve's cart. So I thought I'd just kind of like clarify this right at the end of the video here to show you guys how that's working. What we're going to work towards is having pipes coming out of here. Um, so we're going to, in the next couple of episodes, probably have that set up. So we'll pipe out the things that we want to keep hold of. We'll automate the charcoal production. And we're going to use that for mining as well. So we can have an auto miner coming up where we uh, mine resources uh, passively whilst we're playing the game. And uh, it's going to be a very good thing to have, actually, because it will get some resources we can't currently get. Yeah, which is very cool so uh yeah another episode complete guys if you're enjoying this please do consider dropping a like and subscribing for more uh but for this episode that is about it so as always guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time